Guys, today is a sad, sad day for Chrisingham. His favourite purple jumper is no more. <laughs> Good morning, guys. Hope you're all having a fantastic day. Again, I say every week, how is it already Friday? Tomorrow for us, but now by the time you're watching this. Just got myself up, ready for the day. Poor Chris. It's not started out a good day for him, you guys. His favourite pink, pink, he calls it pink, I think it's purple, jumper is go going to be nothing but a memory. That jumper is rank and it's gone in the bin. <laughs> it came out of the dryer, so bits all over it and it's got a stain on it. I don't know where that stain's come from, it's got a hole. And you guys know if you've been part of our iPhone for a while, he loves that jumper way too much. He gets way too attached to clothing and wears them way too often. Next on my list is to sabotage all his grey jumpers. <laughs> anyway, we've binned it this morning and I have to say guys, I am a little bit happy about that fact. The girls are at school, I just got a shower and got myself up and ready, had a little clean around the kitchen, it still looks a bit messy so I need to continue doing that. And then I'm going to pop to Asda because yesterday guys, I had a prawn salad from Asda and I literally dreamt about it last night. Not even joking, I enjoyed it so much that last night I dreamt about a prawn salad. I'm hoping that's like some sort of pregnancy thing and I'm not turning into some sort of weirdo that dreams about food and pregnancy and prawns even, prawn salad. Anyway, it was so good that I really want one for my lunch today, so I'm going to pop out and go and buy one of those. And I think I'm going to leave Chris in the capable hands of himself to put up our cot because he didn't do it yes yesterday was the day before he was supposed to do it. He's going to do that and I'm going to nip to Asda. <laughs> So we've got one mammoth task today and that is to put up the baby's cot because all the little bits and bobs of furniture and stuff are arriving and we need to get them up and done and ready. So I've just spent the last half an hour clearing out the nursery, taking out again, taking out all the stuff that was in there that's due to go into drawers and stuff and wardrobes and whatnot and then lifting the cot which is a big two part box set when it's absolutely massive and absolutely Heavy, like really, really heavy. Into here, I'm gonna start unpacking it now, and then we're gonna start building it, and seeing what it looks like. I'm really actually excited. It's gonna make that whole, it's gonna make it start looking like a bedroom is what it's gonna do. Guys, I don't know if this is a pregnancy craving. I'm pretty confident it's not. Or if it's something to do with driving on your own being so boring. <laughs> I found sometimes when I'm driving around on my own, I'm just kind of sat here like, no one to talk to, <laughs> talk to myself. You guys know how much I love talking, I'm a chatterbox. So maybe it's something to do with that and me feeling like I just need to be eating something. Oh my gosh, I cannot get enough of these Mint Imperials from B&M. They taste so good, they're like 79p and look how big this bag is. I've gone through a whole bag of these since I've been driving, which is how long? Two weeks? A week? Two weeks? Two weeks, I think, and they just taste delicious. Delicious. Anyway, Chris just told me on the way out that we actually need some light bulbs for our outdoor light, um, and he thinks they sell them at B&M. So I've come over to B&M. I'm going to just pop in there now before I nip over to Asda and see if I can get light bulbs. I hate, hate shopping for light bulbs, and I'm looking for something that looks like this. Hopefully I don't mess up and I can find one. Let's go. Guys, look what I just found. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Managed to get light bulbs. Managed to get some lol cards. If you guys watched yesterday's vlog, you know what I'm talking about. I searched everywhere for them. I'm so excited to give them to Esme and Isla tonight when they get home from school, especially because Esme is competing in a swimming thing today. Fingers crossed she wins. It doesn't matter if she doesn't. If she does, it'll be a great, oh, how windy and cold is it today? It will be a great opportunity to give her them. I also managed to pick up a couple of cute little gifts for Isabel's friend's 13th birthday, which is coming up this weekend. So it was a very successful, cheap shopping trip 
to B&M. Now I'm heading over to Asda for my prawn salad. So I just got back from the shops, guys, and I am actually devoured. Couldn't get my prawn salad anywhere. So the Asda that's near us is actually just a small Asda, kind of, kind of like a Tesco extra. And they didn't, they don't stock the salad pot things that I really, really, really wanted. I was so desperate for it though, that I drove all the way to Morrison's <laughs> to see if they had their equivalent type thing. And they didn't. So I got something else, which does actually look equally as delicious. And I'm actually super glad I had to go up to Morrison's because I found something that I'm happy about. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys are probably sat there thinking, Sarah, you actual geek. You're probably more excited than the girls about these lol doll collector's cards. And to be honest, guys, if you are thinking that, then you're probably right. <laughs> you're probably right. I am so excited and I don't even know why, but I just remember how much fun I had when I was Esme's age collecting, I'm sure it was Spice Girls cards. Pretty sure it was Spice Girls cards. And I loved it. I loved organizing them in my folder. I loved trading them with my friends. And I'm just so glad that not only did I manage to find these, which I could buy them a couple of packs each of, but I also managed to find the folder and then I realised that they also come with a pack, couple of packs of cards as well. So the girls are going to be so excited. I didn't get Isabel one because, you know, Isabel's 13 and I don't really think she'd be too interested in collecting lol doll cards. Obviously, if she comes home and she's like, oh, I would have loved that, then I will go back and buy her one. But I don't think she'll be too bothered about that. But yeah, I'm so excited that I managed to get them for the girls and I can't wait to surprise them with them when they get home. Here's lunch. So I have gone for this topped sushi. You can barely see because the sun is so bright today. Not quite a prawn salad, but it'll do. And then some mango fingers. <laughs> You are loving your life right now, mate. Ah, uh, full. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, why do they have to come in a million pieces? Oh, uh, so annoying, man. Literally, this is a zillion pieces, this one. Look at this, guys. <laughs> he's emptied the boxes and now he's sat down for a lunch break. <laughs> to get up half of the cot before we had to rush on out to go and watch Esme in her swim race. I can't even imagine how excited she is right now. She's so excited to do this race. Esme is one of our, she's probably the most competitive child. Well, she definitely, oh, yeah, definitely she 100% right is the most competitive. And on her swim lessons that she goes to on a Friday, her private ones that we send her to, um, you can just see when their instructor tells them to do something, she does it, but she's constantly looking around to see where she is in the line and making sure she's right at the front. So she's just going to have the best, best time competing today. And I'm just so excited to see where she comes in the race. Are you? I think she'll, I think she'll win. I think she's she, very, very she, fast. She is really, re she is a really, really strong swimmer. Considering only a couple of years ago she couldn't swim at all, she was scared of water. Yeah, it's mad. Them, them, um, obviously you guys know that our girls do a lot of after school activities but swimming is one that probably they moan about the most <laughs> because they have to it's on a friday night and they have to get all you know it's tiring on a friday night and they have to get in the water and wash their hairs get changed etc etc but it's the one that has by far benefited them like massively so we're just pulling in now and we guy and we will let you guys know how she's done and when we come back out so we just arrived home from Esme's swim gala I think it was called swim races I'm not going to tell you how she did because I'm going to let her tell you when she gets home we did rope granny in to come and pick up Isla from school because the race went on for over an hour wasn't it yeah it was much later than it was much thought. later than what we thought it was going to be so we needed help picking Isla up from school so that we didn't have to miss Esme racing but as much as I'm not going to tell you where Esme came in the race I'm I so freaking <laughs> proud of her it's like not even funny how proud I am of that it's girl. She's she's amazing. But yeah. I'm gonna let you guys just like she you is. guys know. I shall tell you. She is. Esme will tell you where she came, but either way, we are so proud of her little Esme's quite small for her age and she just looks tiny compared to some of her friends. And when they're all lined up getting ready to like dive in and, and do this the race, she just looks teeny and her face are just a big oh she's always smiling. She's just always got a face like this. 
Yeah. And she's yeah, looking over and she's going, hi mom, hi but dad. The thing is about like, Esme, she's like, so sweet. She's a secret weapon because she's a secret savage. <laughs> yes, yeah, she And is. she'll tell you about that when she gets there. <laughs> yeah, she, yeah, she actually is. Me and Chris were sat there saying, Esme is the type. What we absolutely love about Esme, that we see in her personality more than what we do the other two, is that when she wants to do something, it doesn't matter what it is, if she wants something, she's giving it 110%. And she loves every and second. She has to be the best at everything. Oh, well, she's not doing it. Oh, she's not doing it yet. <laughs> yeah. She did so good though and wherever she came in the race we're super duper proud of her and it was awesome to be there watching it although we were them embarrassing mum and dads babe. <laughs> we really were those embarrassing mum and dads that were sort of going Esme! And then even when we went out <laughs> parent came up to us and goes Ooh, you guys are sure proud parents right? <laughs> But Esme loves it, so it's all good. Anyway, Isla's just on her way home from school now, and then we need to go back and pick Esme up. Probably shouldn't have bothered coming home. We've got like 10 minutes. <laughs> Look who's home from school! <laughs> did you have a good day? Yeah. I did just tell Isla I've got her a little treat. Yeah! I'm so excited to give it to you. Close your eyes. Yeah! I got you a lol thing with trading cards. An extra trading cards. Oh! And I'm not even going to pretend I didn't get too excited. I don't know where Daddy's hid them. And I opened a pack. <laughs> oh, there they are. Because <laughs> I was too excited to see what, what they looked like. <laughs> it's fine. Isla is absolutely okay, loving too, life right too, now. <laughs> too excited to open them Who did you just get in your other pack? I got um, a limited edition. Sugar and spice? Yeah, sugar and spice. Look who we've got hey. home. So she's got wet, messy hair because she just jumped out the pool. She's put on a hoodie. Esme, tell the iFam how you did. Guys, I came first! Yay! Yay! She came first and not only did she come first, but she was competing for her house, her like school house. Yeah. And I came our house came first as well. And her house came first. And that could have been for me, it could have been for all my friends as well. So. Yeah, because a few of her friends were, well, you were all, first. yeah, you were all as a team, weren't you? Yeah, and I came first and I was so happy. I was like, impressed because I was like swimming like a dog. <laughs> <laughs> hey, there were some really, really, really strong swimmers yeah, there, there today. Was. I was so impressed. Like they were way better than me. When they were doing that one, they were, were so Were the year sixes there as well? Oh, I didn't realise. I thought it was just all year five. Year That's six. even better. All year sixes and all year fives. Wow, you did it's absolutely amazing. amazing. I'm literally so happy. And, then and I got you a little treat. Oh, yay! Are you ready? Yeah. Okay. <gasps> oh my gosh, what is this? So, it's a collector's oh folder. <gasps> and you've got some collector's card packs. <gasps> to start collecting them. And... These are so cool. Extra. <gasps> yay! You're welcome. Oh, so Isla's had so much fun for the last hour opening all of hers. So she's got some spares so you can maybe trade. Okay, yeah. Okay, they've got numbers on them so you've got to put them in order. Okay. But they're so cool. Yeah, I need to take Isabel to dance now, but I hope you have fun. Yeah. Putting those in with Granny and Daddy. Yeah. I'm okay. With, you coming to dance with, with me? With my book. You're taking your book with I you? I got my hands. <laughs> you forgot what's your face, you've got biscuit all over it. <laughs> so I just got back from dance. I'm about to make Chris and the girls their dinner. I'm actually not eating with them tonight. I'm going out to my friend's house for a girly wine and nibbles night. Obviously for me, it will be nibbles and orange juice. <laughs> because I'm pregnant and can't drink. But I've decided I'm going to take my own car and drive myself up there just because I'm feeling so tired. So I will see you all tomorrow and I will leave you in the capable hands of Chris and the girls. Good night guys. Hey guys, so we have a sort of just got back to dance like 30 minutes ago and we came in and I was so cold. I don't know why, but I was freezing. So um, I decided to get into my nice Wait, I'm gonna sneeze. No. <laughs> um, I decided to get into my nice cozy PJs. Um, I've just set up the table and we're about to have dinner in like 10 minutes. <laughs> I'd love to show you guys what I've been doing today because I've been working really hard in the nursery ever since we got back from school this afternoon and it's looking absolutely 
amazing actually i really am impressed with the way it's looking right now it's not finished by any means and sarah wants to do a full nursery tour for all of you guys properly so I ain't allowed to show you niche other than those few montage shots that I might have just thrown in then. But it's gonna look so pretty. So apparently it's Isla Savannah's turn to tell Google tonight. Okay, you ready? Go for it, Hey Google, turn the girls bedroom lights off. Yay, good girls. Right, you two, I love you very much. Shout me if you need me for anything. Put your tornado on and I'll see you in the morning bright and early, okay? And your unicorn too, okay? I keep on this every night. I know you do. Every morning when I come in, there's unicorns all over the roof. <laughs> right, I'll see you in the morning. Anyway, I thought that I would... Oh, not in focus. Um, anyway, I thought that tonight I would um, end today's video. I was just in the bathroom. I've just finished drying my hair because I had a shower and also... Um, wash my face. I got a whole bunch of like the cream that I use my face while well in my eye, which is a big fail. But anyway, I think that me and Prinny for now are just gonna have a nice little chill out um, for about 10 minutes and then go to bed. Anyway, guys, I'll see you all tomorrow. Make sure to leave a like if you enjoyed today's video, and I'll see you all tomorrow in our next video. Good night, guys. Mm -hmm. Mwah!